Hi everybody, my name is Josephine and today I'll be discussing why me and my family decided to move to China, Shenzhen. Of course, there are many decisions that influence the reason. However, I will first be talking about the history of my home country and why my parents went to America from Korea and what made Shenzhen an attractive destination. My parents moved to America from Korea because during the time my parents were in Korea, 1980 to 1997, Korea was a poor country and it had lots of poverty throughout Korea. It was a poor country because of its financial and economical crisis, when the government failed in two major policy, two major policy areas, the exchange rate and the policy industry. It all started to go downhill from there. Everybody got a lower GDP and poverty started to happen. Although my parents weren't directly living in poverty, they wanted to come from to America for better education, which would then lead to better jobs. It is stated that America is known for its better living conditions and its job opportunities, it is, and its plentiful land and its incredible economy. America is known for its education because of the prestigious schools like Yale, Harvard, Columbia, and Columbia, and many more. Also, America has good living conditions because of the U because USA ranks at the top in housing, income, wealth, health, and jobs and earnings. So that was one of the reasons why they migrated over. Economic factors also played a big role in why our parents came to America. The GDP, gross domestic product, domestic product, is really high, therefore lots of pay. Also, America has a very active economy, for example, export and import and agriculture. America has grown big with its huge economy because of its highly productive service sectors, with its advanced manufacturing and the world-class research development. However, time in America was limited and we didn't have much family time as we were busy. The commute to my parents' jobs were over one hour long and and at that time, me and my brother finished graduating from elementary school and we were going into middle school. It, middle school is a very important step of our lives and we wanted to get better education. We thought of international education because international education is highly beneficial. We then looked into Shenzhen and found out that it was a great place to go. Shenzhen was an attractive destination because of the fact that Shenzhen is a popular place for foreigners. It is a popular place for the foreigners because of its booming, econ booming economy and it's because it's an SEZ. International education is very popular in China because of its rich culture. It also allows people to see the world from Chinese perspectives. Also, the big fact that Shenzhen is a huge booming city was something to consider. Our family, we've always lived in cities and we are city people. Although suburban places are nice because it's solitude and quiet, we prefer living in cities because of the convenience. We also thought that Shenzhen is an SEZ and because it's an SEZ, special economic zone, there are special policies. Like the fact that China was be able to create more jobs, more free marketing economic policies, and more flexible government measures by the government of China. We considered Shenzhen because Shenzhen was very modern and advanced and um, developed very well. Also, Shenzhen was the most successful and the first SEZ that was made in China. China, aside from America, is another place that has an active economy, and it, which would be good for growing economy because of its huge export and import system, where they export lots of good for money. That'll allow the boost of these, business, these new businesses people from all over the world come from. That's why it attracts foreigners. And also because Shenzhen is one of the best SEZs, there's benefits from that. For example, lower taxes and not having to worry about tips in restaurants. Because my dad is a metropolitan opera singer, he travels a lot. And everybody has been asking him for him to come to Hong Kong. And because Shenzhen is right next to Hong Kong, we decided to move there. However, we didn't want to move to Hong Kong because Hong Kong could be unsafe because of the protests that have been going on. The protests have been going on because of things that happened a long time ago. After Britain's terms of owning Hong Kong, it was said to make sure Hong Kong is their own place. However, China now wants to take over Hong Kong. We also wanted to explore different cultures and policies from different places and have different mindsets. Because me and my brother are growing older and starting high school, we, and if we want to be successful during IB, we should learn different languages. And because China is becoming a very important part in the economy, we thought it'd be good to learn Chinese. And the fact that China had great speed of urbanization from a small fishing town into what it is today, a, a huge SEZ with growing economy that attracts foreigners from all over the place that make investments and only keeps on making Shenzhen grow, 
it played a part in showing that China was very capable for our needs and wants and was a very convenient place to speak. What are some economic factors that affected us and made us come here? To make long story short, our life in New York City was very busy, right? Yeah. And we're seeking better uh, life quality. Um, I think it has greater benefits living here um, compared to the States. For example, like we don't have to worry about taxes and um, tips and things like that. So it has good benefits. Economic factors were considered. However, economic factors were not a big part on why we decided to move here. However, judging on the speed of urbanization and the fact that this place is a special economic zone, it would be beneficial because we know that this is a well-developed and a modern city which would fulfill all of our needs. Shenzhen was the most successful um, SEZ and unlike India, it was able to grow and keep on growing. India is a failed SEZ because of its limited space and its limited and it's, it was a restric restricted place. Um, we also know that China is one of the world's largest factors in global, global trade. They have been in the global trade organization since 2001. They produce economic growth because they have affordable material that make things like phones, clothes, books, and so many more. They are the world's biggest export and import countries, and so many countries depend on them. An economic factor, labor, was also a part of the reason why we moved to Shenzhen. We are here for mostly our parents' job. That My dad's job is a metropolitan opera singer, and he travels a lot and performs in places. Hong Kong is an amazing place to perform, however, because of COVID, we cannot do so. My mom is a teacher, and she has been traveling internationally for the first time, and she found a job in SIS, which is what we go, what is the school we go to. Shenzhen is a popular city for foreigners like us because when within 30 to 35 years, Shenzhen's population and economy has boomed and now emerged as a hub for technology, finance, international, and international trade. It is also home to Shenzhen Stock Exchange, which is one of the biggest stock exchanges in the world. Because of China's speed of urbanization and a growing and boosting economy with an SEZ that's still developing and its modern place and its super big city, it attracts foreigners like us and that's why we decided to come to China as well. Wherever we go, do you think geography features matter? Um, yes. I um, would prefer living in a big city where we're close by the airport, so um, because your dad's job requires requires a lot of traveling, so as long as he's within like half an hour of distance to the airport, I think that would be ideal for our family. Because it's very convenient to travel to all over Southeast Asia and all the entire Asian region. Um, you know, the summer and the hot weather. Um, is very long I should say but then we have beautiful and pleasant weather uh, during the winter and spring and early summer um, we have a very close access to ocean um, and the mountain um, and when you compare the pollution to Beijing and Shanghai uh, Shoko and Shenzhen area is very very clear um, air quality. It has a very clear air quality. So geography features are something to consider when we move to Shenzhen. In America, there are lots of geographic features. For example, lots of green areas, lots of forests, and desert plains to Rocky Mountains. Although there weren't lots of places like that in the States or necessarily in New York City, it was still a very eco-friendly place. And it was very clean. In sources or websites, it is stated that NYC, New York City, is the dirtiest city. However, I believe that it's in only some places like the Bronx or the Queens. Where me and my f well, certain parts of Queens. Where me and my family have stayed, it was very clean and had lots of green zones as well as good AQI. There was any barely any pollution. 
and the weather there was fantastic. There was all four seasons and it snowed during the winter time. During the different seasons, especially during fall and spring, the air was super fresh and crisp because there isn't much pollution except for the fact that the cars are more engine gas and not electric. And our family loves and appreciates nature and it is stated that many Americans love nature as well and want to preserve it. A lot of the nights when the weather was very nice, um, we would always take a walk by the Hudson River and appreciate it, its views. We consider the geography features to be a very big part of um, wherever we move. So when we moved to Shenzhen, that we also heard that it was a very pretty place with rich culture that dates all the way back to um, 5,000 years ago. It is believed to say that China started with the Qing Dynasty. Um, from then on, they started to make new cultures and policies that evolved into what China is today. We heard Shenzhen was popular with lots of green areas and lots of famous sites and must-to-go places. It's, we also heard that Shenzhen is really clean compared to Shanghai and Beijing. It also had lots of historical sites and very famous places. And when we came here, weather it was a big factor. Although it's hot, I think that during the springtime it's quite nice, and during the winter it's cold and I really enjoy it. The AQI here is also not bad all the time, and the pollution is not, there's not a lot of pollution in Shenzhen. This place is very eco-friendly, and because um, most people ride their bikes and e-bikes or e-scooters, um, and they have electric scar cars, which means that it's very eco-friendly and there's not a lot of pollution because of that. I've been and know there are lots of beautiful places like Lijiang. I've been there and it's very nice and beautiful. There is mountains covered in snow and amazing grasslands. For example, in America, my parents' jobs were so far away, it took at least one hour commute just for them to go to work. It took a bus ride, a ferry ride, walking, and more walking. However, in Shenzhen, it's just a 10 to 15 minute bike ride to pretty much everywhere. Every year, over millions of people flock to Shenzhen, China as workers, part-time workers, and tourists. And many people from all, all over the globe come to admire amazing landscapes. Moving to China has definitely has been overwhelming, but I have wanted to make a pro and cons um, a tea chart of America and of China. So in America, I think that these are lots of pros and these are my opinions. Um, lots of place with opportunities, amazing weather, um, freedom and rights, high and healthy living standards, edu uh, very good education. However, cons could be like racism, lots of competition, and you need transportation to get around. Um, I think that these are very important um, to keep in mind. I also made a pro and con sheet of China and I think that um, a rich culture and language is very um, good of China and in, it, it's in an in, in expensive place to live. Has um, It's a very safe place, good public transportation. However, language is hard to learn. Um, sometimes people can be inconsiderate when they shove in the elevator when there's like two, 12 people already, when they spit, um, you know, because in America that's considered rude. However, despite all of these cons, um, I still think that these two places are an amazing place to live. Some generalizations that I've realized. A lot of people come to Shenzhen for education. People in my class, people, teachers, that teach in the classes all come here for international education or jobs. Um, people seek international education because like me and my family, we want to learn more about different cultures and how that affects people, different people. Also, education overseas is important because we get to learn different languages, try different foods, and become better people in places that are challenging and overwhelming to us. Education overseas is, a di is different. There are people from all over the world that are all different diversities. American, Korean, Russian, France, Japanese, etc. And Chinese. 
students from all over these places and teachers all get to join in one school and get to learn something new and different points of views and opinions which is important for us because we need to be open-minded people we get to experience diversity and that wouldn't happen when we're just in one place and it's not an international school I've also realized that a lot of people come here for jobs. People come to places like Shenzhen for jobs, and because this place is an SEZ, the economy boosts and more and more jobs are created. This is also better because lots of foreigners come here for um, investments in different businesses, and it's a really good thing for Shenzhen and the people. International roles can also get higher pay because you need to be a certain level of profession. People here can get more jobs, create jobs, and create businesses. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it.